the, the places where Yakina does a lot of work. And they started the CT side as well. I reckon Complexity are in trouble, but they've already impressed us once today. So let's give them the benefit of the doubt and see what they can bring. Yeah, I, I agree with Maniac sentiment on the desk, though. Like, that, that Navi, you know, on top of Complexity playing a good game, felt flat. Liquid's not a team coming in after that victory over G2 that's going to be flat at all. And already a miscue. Elijah's going to have heard that, and he's going to be calling it over to Naf. He's already changed his position. He's already here in support, but can they actually put a stop to it? Molotov, no one's watching for Naf, but Grim does turn. This hit is dangerous. Another one for Grim, and Floppy adds a third on top of it. All right, they actually managed to find the kills. I agree, that looked like maybe Naf could have been the game changer there, but somehow they found him at the back. He just let out a single bullet and then died immediately afterwards. They're gonna go fight instead of finding the bomb, which I can respect. Fang able to pick up a couple of kills at the end and it will be complexity to pick up the early pistol rounds. It's not bad. No, not bad at all. Continuing the momentum, building it up early. We saw how excited and hyped up they were getting against Na'Vi at the start of the day. And obviously after the match, just full of excitement. This is, this is a victory complexity with Team Liquid even kind of getting an early jump on what was coming. That missed boost yeah. gave Elise the information. They had a good second. I mean, not much in the grand scheme of things to prepare for it, but it, you know, complexity still just hits headshots. Yeah, that spin around from Grim, from his point of view, looked even more ridiculous. That was actually very cool. Now, they did invest into the round liquid, though, which is something to look at. For Mars on the leash, Shikinda on the scout, some Deagles, and a C-Set 75 on Nitro. Miss Maltov not going to have consequences in this round, but in the future, that could be an issue if it continues to be a problem. Nitro goes down early. Elish only with one return, and they're still fighting. Just so much pressure applied to this bomb site from the complexity side, and they're going to get the bomb plant. Oh, wait. They come off it. I actually thought he was going to go for it there. They find a leisure in the meantime, and I guess they have enough time to slow it down. So, actually kind of cool. Not even stressed after a little bit of a fight there, Complexity. The Kindar's going to be slowly fading away. Yeah, probably didn't even really need that fake plant, but still just playing it cautiously. Very simple round from Complexity. Towards the B bomb site, let the AK-47 lead the way, and no fear whatsoever from Grim being the first player up the staircase. Two to nothing for complexity. Team Liquid not able to keep any weapons in hand for the next round. Sometimes can be a little bit dangerous when you go just hard at a bomb site, even if it's up against what you think might just be pistols or whatever. I mean, still the stacks can be uh, can be good, but it worked out just fine for them, so not too worried. You cannot not finding anything with a scout here at the end of the round either. So a nice little 2-0 lead for the complexity side of things. Curious to see how things are going to be playing out and if it's going to be the same people showing up for the complexity side. Obviously, Fang, I think, was one of the, the people we talked about a lot. But Grim and Floppy were also playing pretty well um, in that yeah. opening game. Yeah, surely. I mean, Grim, Grim was excellent on an overpass against Navi, for yeah. sure. Oh, and Holsuck actually had some crazy deagle shots. Yeah. You started this out with, like, one player playing I good, know, and then you've been like, everyone. oh, shit, all, everyone played good. They did beat Navi, so I guess it makes sense, you know. Everyone. Just throw them all in there. Here we go. Round number three. Scout and Yekandar, Deagle on Elysian, and USPs after that. One flashbang on Nitro. Who'd you pick for this one? Liquid, of course. Okay. I, I, yeah. I feel like yesterday was not a good uh, day for me in terms of picking anything, so I feel like this is my time to make up for it. A lot of people had a tough day yesterday. I know. I had a tough day yesterday. Oh, Elysian's just having a good time. What a triple kill with the Deagle. And if that's the turning point, Liquid didn't bring a whole lot into this round. Oh, this will put you on notice, but those are weapons they can't recover. OC and Nitro, no, they do not want to get aggressive. And I think Fang has found the escape route for JT. He's got control of the A bomb site. JT not even quiet about running over. Now, OC and Nitro kind of have a decision to make. Now they realize they can go get the weapons because they know exactly where both players are. Do you want to go for this? Or do you keep these AK-47s and just say, you know what, we're happy about the uh, the boost in the economy this will give us moving forward? Surely, you know, just playing the percentages, you just try and save the guns and, and be happy to bring him to the next one. But um, they're kind of close by. And there was a much delayed bomb plant. It didn't happen nearly as quick as I maybe would have thought. If they find JT here, it's definitely on. But he's going to get one in return and a good double. That'll take it all away. Quad kill on JT at the end of the round and... Man, I've got to say, I want to see the replay of that, of those deals from Elyse. That was nuts. Yeah, that's some spicy shooting. Look at this one. Molotov clears. Great flashbang from Nitro. That was the one flashbang brought into that round. I know that warms your, your little dead heart. Yes, of course. Not much does, but flashbang will. What's that? Four bullets, three headshots? Yep. <laughs> nice.
All right. Put them on notice. Yeah, that, that really does. That, that'll that that'll temper the excitement <laughs> for the complexity side. Those smiles uh, turn a little bit more into frowns after a round like that. OC is forced off by nades. Good utility work for complexity, so no aggressive stance for the AWP of Team Liquid. And a big concern for this first half is going to be... How do you deal with Yakindar on this ramp? And Alige. Remember, uh, on Alige. Uh, Yakindar, OC, and Alige defending this A bombsite and this A ramp early on. Oh, Yakindar probably gets away with one there. I'm not going to lie to you. Over the smoke, OC finds Grim. Couldn't land the headshot. That had to have been immediate. OC's down to 10 HP, but they'll be happy with the man advantage. JT, that's actually a nice little sneaky play. Could have definitely worked out. Looked like Nitro had no real idea, so... Uh, opportunity to do something, but... They fail it at this time. Grim is out of the round, and now they want to go back to the B-bomb side, try and see if they can test it out. Naf making a bit of noise, falling back, and almost caught with a nade in hand. Fluffy tries to go for the pre-fire spray for the smoke, but it's fan bang hit the headshot. It's not bad, and that's another one through the smoke. Taking down a liege. Yakinder and OC, two versus four, and what a recovery from complexity. If I'm complexity in this game, and I'm coming up with a game plan, I'm saying we're going to be attacking this B-bomb site all day long. We're going to be going right at Nitro, and that's no real, you know, harsh slight on him, but when you think of the power that's at the A ramp with OC, Yekindar, and Alige, and you look at someone who's, you know, kind of not really in that fragging department for Team Liquid, I think you are just going at Nitro, see if you can exploit that weakness, go at the B-bomb site, See if you can take it over a few times, and then you force that A defense to feel a little bit nervous about committing all that firepower throughout the round of the A site. And it'll be, we have to track it. I mean, obviously, we'll be interested to see how long before Liquid do decide to make a change, you know, if they trust in Nitro and Naf anchoring the bomb side, or if eventually early on they're going to try and see if they can change that defense just enough to make a difference. What a start for complexity. Timeout used by Liquid. Not happy with the way things are going right now, and I don't think see a reason why they would be either. They actually got the opening kill and then <laughs> slipped right out of their hands. You know, I think everyone in the talent team predicted Team Liquid to win this one again. We all predicted Navi to beat Complexity as well in the first day. If Complexity causes two of these kinds of upsets, oh, we're never going to live it down. No, the social medias would be that'd be off the rails. Hungry for it, lighting on fire. I think that that's why I, it's really for me making mostly bad predictions because then it doesn't sting as badly, you know. Okay, so no your thing is if like I set the bar at I suck at predictions. <laughs> yeah, and people are going to be like, yeah, it's just Anders. It's just Anders sucking as usual. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's an interesting angle. Yeah. I haven't really heard that one before. Happy with it so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's been working for years. <laughs> Also, waiting, hoping to catch the timing there. But yeah, the, that A ramp is... There aren't many players in the world that I can think of as scary as Yakindar on that A ramp. Even when you know he's going to be aggressive, even if you know it's coming. Could have been a kill there. JT barely escapes. They're going to find Yakindar. Also rewarded for his patience over there. And now I think for Team Liquid, you got to be thinking, let's let's try and get into a position where we can save this AWP. They're kind of rotating over to try and defend this bomb site. But I think OC, especially with low HP, has got to be really careful how he commits to any of these fights. They'd love to bring the off forward into the next round. Elijah has gone. If he was able to get that kill and find some safety, then I think you can fight for it. And I think this is a great call from OC. He's already backing off just now. Nitro's even slinking back as well to kind of keep some space and keep some defense around him. And Liquid's priority has shifted to the off. Yeah, just not worth throwing it away. If Elish gets that kill and finds himself able to tuck into lane and kind of have that second angle onto the bomb site to delay the plan and make complexity fight a two front battle, then maybe you can justify OC sticking around and seeing what he could find. But once Elish goes down, there's there's no hope. Five and zero oh in favor of complexity, as we all expected. <laughs> this is great news. I mean, especially if you're like playing playing this T side. That's what really scared me is. I just, in my brain, I was imagining something like a, a very hard lockdown, even with just, even just facing a kinder on the ramp. But they've been managing to, uh, well, avoid him for, for some of it, but also just straight up winning it this time. AWP versus M4, and they come out on top. So, we'll see. Complexity, beautiful, beautiful beginning here. Yeah, that one, probably the key kill to make the difference. Elish hoping to reenact what he was doing in the previous round with the running headshots, but not going to be allowed to. 
They have some rifles though back on the side of Liquid, so at least uh, at least they can they can take a real fight this time. There's a lot of money on this complexity team that they need to burn through though. Elige shows a little bit of shoulder, but gets into cover. That gives OC a position behind oh the sandbags, and that's close. That looked like he almost sh shot his head right off, but somehow not. Oh. Where's all this damage coming from? Fang and Holzerk brought down so low. 16 and 10 HP. JT trying to find a duel. There's two players challenging from the defensive side. And Nitro's tucked in behind the steel beams. He's found some cover. Good flashbangs, but Grim knows there's no route forward. Well, almost all of them on that B stairwell. So a little bit awkward when they're all pushed up like this. They're going to take down Naf, though. Great entry for JT. Is that enough to get the opening they want here? I mean, they're on the clock, and they'll find Nitro inside of the smoke. More people are starting to show up to the bomb side, but no, it's not even, they're not even close. Elish thought about it for a second, but he's going to fall back again, like you said. Keep hitting that B bomb site over and over again. Yeah, rinse and repeat. And at the at the very same, even if it's not like any kind of like full-blown hit, I love the duels that JT was taking on those stairs, I think in tandem with Floppy, I want to say. Like, even if they don't get the kills in the initial contact, you're forcing so much counter utility. You forced out so many flashbangs. You've made it awkward. You forced Nitro into a smoke. So he's kind of had to isolate and take himself out of the fight just to survive from the flames. Really leaves Naf on an island out in transition, trying to make it over to the default boxes. So just so much pressure being put on that B bomb site, and Complexity's patient with it and eventually find the openings that they need. Six to nothing now. Terrorists win. A lot of people worried, surely, at this point in time. Watching this, thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> no one's worried. NA wins no matter what. That's, that is true. Not even, like, even the jet lag just gets even out. Yeah, negated. Yeah. Both teams are jet lagged, so, you, you know, you definitely can't use it now. Maybe that is how we do things in the future. Like, even if we're hosting, like, a, you know, an event in Denmark or something, we just fly the Danish team around the world beforehand, just to... Yeah, Give them world trip. that's the equalizer. We yeah. should make all the European teams take like 12 hour journeys. Just to get there, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Sold. All right, it's a plan. We're working on it. First kill Floppy. for Team Liquid. Yeah, he's down and out. Naf did nearly go down, but I like it. It's a little bit of aggression outside of the B bomb site. They kind of can expect for something to happen, and that's a nice follow up need. Naf getting that one. It's also a bit of a statement push for Naf as well. Like, he, he's probably thinking the same thing. He's like, I've got to stop these guys from feeling like they can just come stairs and just fight and bully us every chance they get any round that they want. So getting in your face, make them think twice, make them be a little bit nervous about some CT side aggression. And at least for this round, he gives them a man advantage as well. There's an avenue back into this if Fang can clean up some of these softened players. Naf being the first one at 19 HP. Also just scoped up this whole way. Hasn't been able to really see almost anything, but might be rewarded. It looked like that could have been a kill. Fang now on his own, and the um, shots are going to be coming in right away. Kendari able to bring him down. It's a good round for him and a good round for Naf. And finally, Liquid are on the board. It took a long time. Yeah, it took quite some time. And they actually, I mean, they still lose a, a fair few rifles in this one, so they have to be really careful. Yeah, now you need to build upon it if you're Team Liquid. Timeout is taken. Is that aggression from Naf? Feel nervous because then, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna eventually pull OC closer over towards the B bomb site or pull Elysia over to the B bomb site, and it's gonna weaken the defense on the other side of the map. So that'll be an interesting thing to keep track of if Complexity can continue to find success at the stairs. Six to one. What a scoreline to begin with. Oh, good angle to get the shots. Fang try to hunt him down. It could have worked, and he nearly spins around. That's a good read, but OC. Lightning Quick on that AWP on the other side, and it'll be the opening kill once again going for Liquid here. And Yek and our Lightning Quick getting the hell out of there. That was a very, very close battle. Floppy underneath the stairs, but not challenging as much as we've seen in the past. Naf is playing very passively at the B bomb site, but it looks like Complexity wants to start shifting over. Grim's going to get the audio cue of a flashbang clear in middle. And he'll lurk this position as his other three teammates look towards the B bomb site and look at the lean from Team Liquid. They know what's coming. Yeah. Trying to preemptively be there to try and defend it. Nice little flick for Naf. Also, a little bit too aggressive maybe to try and get up. And Yekindar's going to be sure to shut down Grim in the middle or so. That's almost all of the threat gone. They really needed Grim to, to be a little bit of a counterbalance so that the defense can't just be looking at the stairs. 
and now you've had a round where Naf pushes down the stairs to find the first kill, and now he's playing it with an AWP. So they're sending this signal to Complexity that if you're just going to challenge and try and jiggle and try and find duels, we're going to put the things in place to put a stop to that. Op can be a very, very tough weapon to crack open against the B bomb seat if you're just looking for fights on those stairs. So now it's going to be it balls back in the Complexity court of how they want to play it. Yeah, they're being put uh, into a little bit of a, a little bit of a timeout corner at the moment. So see if they can figure something out this is uh again just the one opening kill creates a, a fair bit of space for liquid to work with and they managed to make up for it you cannot still being a huge force on this team right now yeah he didn't he wasn't scared to wide swing that at all he was very very committed i think the obviously the communication the main thrust of that attack coming to b stairs and he's like i'll take the fight against the lurker Yekandar oh, trying to push down. He realizes he's run into someone this is awkward though inside the smoke both players want nothing to do with this battle Still kind of here, but that is the kind of aggression that uh, that we're used to seeing from Ikenda. But the rest of the complexity side, they've fallen really far back. They don't want anything to do with this. Rosie getting in line in case they try to jump him. At least have that two-man setup. And this time it's much more about the A ramp. At least early in the round. Could well be that this is just to try and create a little bit of space and then fall back to B yet later anyway. Nice shot from OC. Yeah, nice off angle there. These ops are starting to really chew up complexity in these past two rounds. Another opening kill provided by OC. Yekandar with an off angle headshot angle. Hulzerk peaches, peeks up right into it, and Elise with a double spray down from up top. Good setup there from Liquid's defense, and Elise is going to back away. There's an absolutely critical return there, the double return for Elise. Otherwise, it's a really open round. Nitro picking up his first kill, I believe, and it's going to be OC to close it out even lower on health. So Liquid, they keep going. Nicely done. Yeah, got their sea legs beneath them now. Three in a row for Team Liquid. I've got a question, Jason. Sure. I you know them. those signs all around Vertigo that says hard hat area? Uh-huh. Does that imply that there's a soft hat area somewhere? That... No. No? <laughs> no, it does not. Right. You've been to, you've been to plenty of stage constructions to know what the hard hat area implies. Yeah, but no one's ever told me to wear a hat. Okay, uh, <laughs> do I hear that personally? Oh, behind the flames. Elish, I guess, thought that might have gone a little bit deeper. But Grim's and he had the to... hard hat on. He still died right away. <laughs> <laughs> These things are useless. They don't stop the bullets, do they? Not, not nearly enough. Anyway, yeah, Elish out of the round. Good start. Complexity after a beautiful run to begin with. You... I mean, the fact that they already have six rounds is actually still just great, but you obviously want to keep this momentum going. If you let Liquid back in this early on, they can still have a really good first half, so... Finish what you started here with your complexity. And they're back at that B-bomb side once again. Not hiding it. Again, passive setup from Naps. A to B. Oh, this is awkward. That's real awkward. Grim loses about 40 HP, turns the corner. Naps got the shot with the AWP again on point. One more. Add on top of it for Naps with a second AWP. Three on three situation. Nitro, they're right down in front of him. Oh, he's got to be so careful. Bomb being planted. He comes charging through. A little bit of space for Yekandar to get the kill at least in return. But now it's OC. One versus two. He saw the shadow on top, but he couldn't quite get the kill. Incredible flick to pick up Fang and JT. Down behind the boxes, ready and waiting. OC, he's hoping for a shadow. Anything to show where he is. And he's not quite quick enough. JT, able to pick it up. A huge one versus one that's being won here in complexity. Man, they're in a great position right now. Yeah, that's a phenomenal one to add on top. Money's going to be a bit of an issue. It's going to be real tight for the T side. Liquid should be just fine and almost able to hold on. Nap, that's the equalizing kill. Adds one more on top of it. But after that, the bomb site is just lost. I even actually kind of like the creative play. The flashbang from Yekandar, for, excuse me, from OC for Yekandar and Nitro to wrap around the E-Box to try and trade that kill. Just not enough comes from it. 7-3. It has, I feel like, an interesting compounding effect sometimes when you keep hitting the same bomb site over and over. It's very frustrating, obviously, if you're the, if you're the players that are that are there and you still feel like we just can't really do it, you know. I think even with the I extra backup, I think it's more upsetting for the players on the other side of the map. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys just hold the bomb? Yeah, one please. Minute? Give me some kind of a clean fight. Aggression from Yekandar is shut down by Fang. Previously put out the Molotov and backed away. This time he wanted the fight. Another opening kill provided for complexity. Previously in the previous round, it was Grim finding a leash. 
Now Fang onto Yekendar. That deep ramp aggression again is, I think, kind of. What's the leech doing? He's on a big flank, big boy flank. Looking for uh, for the all the parties, maybe. Or for complexity. Oh, might not even be needed. Nitro on the double nav with one in return as well, and also is entirely on his own as Fang gets blown up. What a way to change it. That almost, I almost feel a bit bad for Elish. His flank is so epic and all he's going to get is a one final kill. It was a great, but yeah, he could but, have had so much more. Well, and that's, that's what we kind of, what we kind of mentioned when you say, if you keep hitting that B bomb site and finding success, you're going to make the other players on the other side of the map be a little bit more proactive and maybe overextend to try and make up for it. And that's a play pushing middle that has an element of risk to it. And obviously this time it, it pays off. Wasn't really necessary at the end of the day, but certainly does pay off. Seven to four. Yeah. Can't really do much else but laugh. Now instead though, complexity out of money. It would have been liquid if they would have lost that last round, so interesting position to be in now. If they can get back to eight rounds, it's such an open game still. Yikina still being very, very aggressive. It takes a lot to stop Yikina from doing that though. Ooh, deep nade under JT. Also working on the ladder. But they don't really have... They don't have anything to play this round with. No. They can hope for a couple of kills, maybe, but... They got Deagle and Light Armor on Fang. One smoke, which is... I mean, forget about that for now. It's not really going to have any impact. So you got to get some, some kind of control and some kind of progression before that smoke can really be put to good use. And you're going right at Yekandar, who's got the angle ready and waiting. A little bit of a need to dunk down on top. Doesn't really do anything. Smoke though will help him out quite a bit as they come through. Still only the one kill, but the timing wasn't necessarily that bad. And it's Elige and Naf to close out the round. So they don't lose that much. And I don't think there was ever really a chance that Com Complexity could have done too much. So can't really blame them for that one. No, not at all. Seven to five. Liquid closing the gap. Coming back into this game and still with an opportunity to take an advantage into the second half. Seen a lot of different looks of that B defense. Just the aggression from NAF, the one round. Mostly it's been a double op, a secondary op in the hands of NAF towards the B bomb site. Last round that they won over at B was the double rifle setup, and it looks like here they're going to go for some aggression again. A timing pop flash for Nitro to pink down, and OC misses a shot narrowly. Well, Tom, I thought maybe that would have gone into the smoke, but somehow not. And Fang, he burns alive. Oh my god, I actually thought he just could escape on the other side even, but. That's an interesting way to get around started. You can duck, almost just peeking right into it, and he will. Nearly took down JT, but AK on the other side. So a one-for-one -one trade, and you can are surely going to be calling it in, saying, yeah, I, get, I got the dink on him at least. Molotov miss extinguished. Grim challenging with the AK-47. Three defenders here. They're starting to get aggressive in the middle of the nowhere and wide out into the open. Grim doesn't want that fight quite yet. This is awkward for Elige. Awkward for Nafly as well. They got caught in no man's land. What a good job from Grim managing that fight. And JT finds the third. Defense wiped out. And it should be an eighth round for complexity. It's the kind of fight where it feels like if you are the team that actually gets to initiate, you might have the advantage. But when instead... They, they if you of... get frozen at that headshot angle, yeah. I, I have a real internal debate in my head about what makes me more nervous. Is teams trying to pull off that same kind of push towards the top of a ramp on Vertigo or the sign position on overpass for an opera? <laughs> yeah. Both of those spots, whenever I see it happening, I'm just like, oh, this is this makes me uneasy. I don't like the sign one either. Right? That might be... For different reasons, but... Different reasons, yeah. yeah. Although... I realized at one point that yeah, sometimes I'm off, I'm off nice. from like a commentary point of view, you end up, we end up criticizing a team for doing stuff where you say, oh, that, was that really the best decision? And then you just realize after a while, but if you run whatever the best decision is for like 10 rounds in a row, it obviously some it stops being the best decision because now it's just super readable. And so you're like, we have a great A defense. Yeah, but if you run it 10 rounds in a row, then yeah, they come how, how could it be? How could it be? Like sometimes... I guess you almost have to try and be like, all right, let's 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 see if we can catch them with this. I mean, that play has been, I, I feel like the, the one we just saw from Liquid of trying to push up on the ramp has been getting, or has been popular at various times. 
I, I think we've even seen it be extremely successful at times. Just there, there are those moments where you can see that there's an awkward timing coming with it, and that was one of those rounds. And I mean, if they get one good flashbang in from the liquid side, that's probably it. Nicely done here. Nitro getting a headshot on Floppy. Good to see Nitro picking up a couple of kills. I mean, he's up to five now. He was struggling at the beginning, but that that probably gets him a lot of confidence knowing that they can't necessarily beat up on him the same way that they I, started out. Yeah, I think Liquid did enough with, between the AWP and the aggression from NAF early on and a couple of good stops at the B-bomb site to, to kind of give some breathing room, right, and stop those kind of plays but from just constantly coming back into his face. Grim with the first kill in a 1v5. And he is boxed into a very narrow hallway. That Molotov isn't going to help anything. Yeah. Some damage would be still be kind of useful, even if the 15th round is coming up. Some of them really don't have a lot of money, so if they get, if he gets, you know, even two more kills here, this could still help them out a little bit in the upcoming round. So maybe there is something to fight for, even if you probably will not win the round. 30 seconds left. That's why you can see Nitro taking a very passive angle of just saying, I'm going to jiggle. If I get into a fight or spot the information, I'm just going to hide or excuse me, there's the two kills. Oh, don't let this happen. Don't let this slip away. 1v2 for Grim. Let it happen, Jason. What a beautiful <laughs> round so far. He's pushed up by that huge vent, and he's got the right idea. He knows where to leave. one of them is. Not sure about Elysia, and the timing is just not with him. So still impressive work for Grimm, and that's going to get them a, you know, a lot less money and rifles yeah. in the next round. Like yeah, that. let's see what they're missing, because uh, you're exactly right. That does some significant damage to the economy for the final round that might give uh, even just a small edge for complexity to work with in a different scenario. Nice kills from Grim. Thought surely they would just kind of hide and wait for him to get into that bombsite and get that plant. A little overcommitted. It's eight to six. One round left. And the fact that it even is that at, a, at this point, you know, eight rounds on the side of complexity, that is such a great scoreline, no matter what happens here, to move into the second half with. So they should be excited about it. All right, they had a little bit more maybe than I was expecting, so not too bad on the side of Liquid. I think they're doing all right. Maybe lacking one or two Molotovs here or there, but that's about it. So, Nap, very aggressive. Not something that they had seen before. Floppy not going to be happy about it. Gilly is trying to follow it up in the spray at range with the AK and not connecting either on the Fang. Three versus two, but the fact that Naf gets that early kill just throws that whole T-side into complete disarray. We'll see. Does he know? I'm not sure if he realizes Holzerg is up here. No, he doesn't know. But I mean, it doesn't matter. That's a, nice, that's a tight enough angle to be able to adjust very, very easily as soon as Holzerg or Fang make their move. There it is. Good flick over. Half the body showing. It's just Fang left in a 1v3. He's cut off. He can't really fall back either. Nitro's pushed all the way up. And once you move forward into the bomb site here, you're, you're trapped. You got Naf in front of you. You've got OC off to the left, who can just peek at will. What an angle. I mean, he loses that fight, but still, Fang, the fact that... 8-7. I mean, all things considered, that's, that's a phenomenal comeback. That was a 7-2 run for Team Liquid. They were down to 1.6 to nothing to come back into this game and give themselves a chance. It still has a long way to go, considering they've switched over to the T side, but entirely doable. Oh, Floppy, look at this. He is so far pushed up right now. Liquid are in a lot of trouble, and I don't think they even realize. Naf is kind of looking behind them, thinking about it, but this is so readable at the moment. Complexity, they're up on the A-bomb site. They know what is coming their way. There's only one set of utility as well. Smoke Molotov onto Yekandar to actually progress onto the A-bomb site. Here we go. Molotov going to come in, reloading. Oh, but actually, this is working out pretty well. Even if they knew everything, OC on the double, the smoke and the bomb plant behind it. They have such great utility use in this round. Grim finally going to get a little bit in return, but that is actually upsetting to watch. Yeah, that's that's got to that's got to be upsetting to be in that situation as complexity. You had the flank, you had four players rotated over, and you still couldn't put a stop to anything. You lost the first three kills. Grim over the top needed a very quick kill to be able to respond in kind, and now he's the only one left. OC picks him off. Two stunning headshots right at the end, and pissed around in the second half goes to Team Liquid. It's now tied. That's one of those rounds that's very hard to explain, because from like a, I guess like a theoretic point of view, is absolutely great. Getting the early flank in, getting four people on the other side. 
and then you still just get wiped out. Quad kill for OC in this particular pistol round. It's, it's interesting because it's like you have four players here, right? But you're not actually kind of challenging a lot of the space as Liquid progresses into the bomb site. So it's almost like even having four players there didn't, didn't kind of matter because only two people at a time were involved in the action. Yeah, you didn't feel at any point kind of like the, the, the threat of having that many players at the bomb site. Which is a great, I mean, it's a great work with the utility that Team Liquid had. The yeah. smoke to block vision, the Molotov to pull people out of the position in the corner. Yekandar is going to enter in with the MAC-10. Him and Elise get two kills to open up the B bomb site. They did lose Nitro on the other side of the map, but it doesn't much matter. I'm sure Liquid, I'm thinking about this, but sometimes I feel like there is something... It could feel like a nice sense of almost justice if you have a really hard time on a bomb site in, in your, on your own CT side. You switch to the C side and you're like, all right, let's do it to them again. Like, let's do the exact same thing. Yeah, let's show them what it's like. They do still have the Deagles and the Scout on Holzerk, so they're going to make their escape with that. But means Liquid are going to be in the lead. Nine to eight. Yeah, but it's it's nice being able to keep, you know, some some points of danger and damage for complexity in the next round with two deagles with head armor as well. The scout on Halzerk we know can do some work, so it's three things that Lick would have to be mindful of into the next round. How much? And you could hear even the communication. We just killed the B guys. They won't have anything. So yeah. I would I would look at Liquid to maybe go back towards this B bomb site. They mod wood and boosted with it, so you should flash this one. Ooh, complexity seem to know as well <laughs> and they've got the they've got the same read on the other side so obviously much worse on the weaponry but maybe they can uh, try and preempt it no but they are they are putting uh, grim here with the deagle who's got some of the armor as well so bringing over one of those powerful weapons we'll see how it goes good first kill dig from the usb cleaned up by the deagle but then the ak-47s were spawned oh nitro's taking a lot of damage i think liquid might just get forced away from this although now opening things up from behind yeah, I could have probably had that kill on JT as well. I'm kind of surprised that Complexity actually come out trading evenly here. Uh, I mean, you we, we heard Team Liquid say, hey, we got the B guys, they don't have anything. And yeah. you heard Complexity saying the same thing, like, hey, they killed the B guys, we don't have anything. Let's shift <laughs> over and get a flashbang for the board. So good, uh, good communication, good ideas for Complexity. Yeah, and now they're backing into the bomb site again. Ready for it. They'd actually walked away. OC not able to transfer it. Floppy, great deagle shots coming out. Not even needed with the headshots because they're all so low on health. Elysia's as well. Could be a third one for Floppy if he finds that opening. Elysia showing himself and surely that's going to be calling in a teammate. It's Fang with the scout. And even if not, they actually had a Molotov on Fang as well. So they could have done a lot with it. That is a great... You Early you start here. You stop Yekandar, who's the first player in with the MAC-10. Then you dink and force Nitro back, who's the second player with the AK-47 trying to challenge. And you've done so much damage. Nice, easy cleanups for Floppy with his Deagle at the end of the day. Well, you see them all the way from across the studio. Good times. That ties it up and puts a lot of... <laughs> Trouble on the side of Liquid. Grim with the double opening spray down. Naf and OC both out of it in spite of a flash set up there. He was just ready. So this is horrifying for Liquid. If they lose this round, they are they're gonna be in trouble. Certainly on the money, and they're gonna start to fall even probably two rounds behind at that point in time. Maybe even two or three. Maybe even two or three. Org on the side of Holzerk. Oh, we like that. Fan of the scoped weapons. It's a little bit more quiet and calm for Team Liquid as Yekandar and Elise are going to work through the problem at the B bomb site. A silent boost over the boards. Grim off to the right, but his attention is also pulled towards middle. So timing is everything for this play. And Floppy's just staying tucked into the beam in the back and quad. We could find the kill on Floppy, then maybe there is a way to roll that into an actual bomb plant. But man, they need to be quick about it. If Floppy gets any kind of a shot out here, that might be too late. Ooh, Grim's pushed up close as well, and the smoke up, it's making it very tricky. JT's out of the round, but Floppy drops the bomb on the ground. 40 seconds, and now they should be realizing Grim comes flying through the smoke to take down the lead. And Nitro, not a lot he could do in the middle here. Nice composure from Floppy, just staying pinned down. Grim coming over as well, triple kill. He got the first two openings. What a huge round for Grim. Massively impactful, and that's going to put Team Liquid back to just pistols. Yeah, even a bomb plant would have been helpful. Fang almost catching Nitro. Not that far away from finding him, or he shouldn't be yet. There we go. 
Nicely done. Awkward. I thought Nitro was going to win that fight. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, yeah. Probably. I mean, yeah, if he tried to come up the stairs, definitely. I thought the missed shots Nitro would react in time. I was waiting for the moment. It's waiting for it. This is the good opening. The first kill and the transfer over. Immediate dinks on an Aphanosi and easy cleanups. And then Liquid with Yekandar and Elise pressuring up the B stairs. Just not enough resources to flush Floppy out of that position. One round lead. A single alone deagle on Naf. We've seen some good deagles today, but I feel like this is even there, even compared to some of the earlier stuff, it's asking a lot, you know. Especially against an AUG. Gonna have a field day. You've got Fang close up as well if they try and stream forward you, so Liquid want nothing to do with that. No flashbangs, no smoke to take away any of the angles. Liquid's gonna readdress back to the B bomb site. What an opening day for complexity in Group B. Yeah, and I, I feel like a lot of people, probably, you know, most of us uh, in front of the camera today, we were saying, yeah, but it's Navi, we're that simple, all the rest of it. I mean, this Liquid team have been looking really powerful, so that they don't have the same issues here. Right, I mean, the, look, you can, put, you can put the asterisks onto the Navi victory to a certain extent with uh, with complexity, but if they take out this Liquid, then, I mean, all of a sudden, you kind of, they get something, they get a victory that can back up that win, right? Yeah. And then you have something to really go off of moving forward. So cool. Grim, his 18th kill right there. Which is, well, I think one of the only things they were lacking earlier was that there weren't really a lot of people to support Grim in terms of the scoreboard. But um, the second half has changed that. Looking a lot better. See Fang, JT trying to catch up to him. So he's getting a little bit of support. 11 to 9. And the 21st round is coming up. Rifles back on the liquid side, but man, we need them to do a bit more damage here at the start of the second half. They can't go on that long break that they did in the first half. They really need to slow down complexity, or this map could be over sooner than they want. Yeah, it really could be. Especially on this T side. Especially with how confident complexity is looking at the moment. So patience at the base of A ramp as all the smokes and utility is utilized. No pressure towards B either. Liquid just happy to let Complexity use their nades early. No damage being exchanged as well. This feels like one of those maps where if you take, you know, if you put on your CIS uh, Counter-Strike glasses, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be one of those maps where if you lose track of where the T's are, you could really be in trouble, you know? Yeah, look at the utility with 55 seconds left. Look at the, the difference in the nades that both teams have to work with. Fang is forced out of his advanced position. Floppy's caught in an awkward engagement. Naf is going to win that out. That creates space for Yekandar to move forward. JT's got one, but is it enough to pull them back? Ooh, through the smoke and grim on the follow-up. They actually had the perfect opening here, Liquid. It was looking amazing, and now... They're in trouble. Naf very low on health and OC. He's got some health here, but they're running out of time too. 27 seconds. I can't believe. Yeah. I mean, they had almost won the round on the double opening. JT with one, Halzerk with another through the smoke, and Grim shuts down the mid play that Naf was trying to activate Yekandar into. This is a last ditch effort to get into the B bomb site. They don't have time to get slowed down either. They cannot really stop for this engagement. That smoke is brutal. OC, I think you got to call the round off almost to a certain degree, but the flashbang is perfect. Five seconds of the clock. That's bomb hitting the ground. It was all over. The AUG sings in the round, and Halzerk has a triple kill. Whew. All right. That got spicy. It did get a little bit spicy, but recovering from that kind of a of a great start here. Two kills going the way of Liquid, and then just in a matter of, what, like three seconds, he gets three of them back. That's crazy. No bomb plant being allowed either. No, and that, that's going to be frustrating for Team Liquid. They look so clinical on their T-side on Mirage. You give up a five on three. You, you, you hand it right back to a Miss shot from Halzer. They're trying to chase him down, trying to pick up the pace, and I think they're just going to hit the pause button now. They didn't get the fight they wanted. They know utility and reactions are going to start streaming in. So Liquid stopped cold. One smoke for Team Liquid to utilize. I like the attempt at trying to, trying to run him down. You know, if he makes a little bit of a mistake there, if he's either just gets stuck or feels like he wants to come back for a second shot, and maybe you have the, the speed to try and catch him. 
JT walking all the way out here. And when you know they only have pistols, I mean, they're probably not going to have a Molotov to clear you out. So the position is suddenly way better behind those sandbags. Still got Fang. Got Horso even further back. Yeah. Ooh, Fang, this is awkward. Is he going to be ready for it? Smoke plumes. Nitro comes through. No one to follow it up. His death goes to waste. And JT, there's the pop-up at Sandbags. Worst jack-in-the-box you could imagine. <laughs> Unless you were the... Then you were the jack. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't know what to call it, did you? No. <laughs> Having such a great time. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, look, you can you can kind of understand it considering how horrible of a time the past few months of for the first half of competition of the year was. So are you ready to ready to invest a little bit more now, maybe? Yeah, get a second date. Okay. Yeah. Work into it. Well, that's great. I like that. I appreciate it. Twenty-third round. It's been five in a row for complexity, and they're three rounds away from winning this map. Which again, I feel it's really worth repeating. Yeah, maybe you can make some excuses about the Navi situation, but this would really cement a great opening to the last full season for uh, for Flexity, which is really cool. We'll see if Liquid have what it takes. They've already shown, I think, uh, earlier today that they, they really can bring it back, even when they're a little bit behind and falling a little bit flat. So do they have another I, return in them? I think the biggest problem is just the hole they started in on the CT side. That 0 and 6 hole is just so brutal. Like, yeah, you can recover from G2 when you're down 0 and 4, but 0 and 6 on the kind of the easy side of Vertigo, or the easier side of Vertigo, is, uh, is a very difficult thing to come back in. Look at the money, too, on Complexity. Multiple buys behind any round loss that they take. Defense is starting to shift and get aggressive. They're starting to push up in middle. That's going to be Fang with the fast flank down ladder. If they get the kills, though, Liquid, the flank might not matter. Yeah, the timing is everything for this one, and they are watching for it. Nathlo a little bit off on the crosshair, so should still be able to win the fight against Fang, and he will. That's excellent. Five versus three. And Grim looking to take the battle. Nitro right on the other side. Also, he's going to find one with the AWP, but there's smokes everywhere. I'm shocked that he's pushed forward, and eventually he's going to be found. Feels like maybe a little bit desperate, and eventually they're going to win the round, only losing a single player. That's a great win, not just for finding the win in the first place, but eliminating all five players as well. No opportunities for everyone to save. I mean, with that flank coming in, everyone from Complexity had shifted over to actually fight for that round, and they never got out of the mindset. Double digits for Team Liquid. They're just three back. Timeout called. By Yakinda, so maybe he could do that again on the ramp a couple of times. Elysian OC top fragging on the Liquid side. They have the kills to sort of back this up. If you look at the scoreboards, it's not like Liquid are really far behind. So even at a three round gap here, it feels like they are having an output to match what complexity they're bringing to the game. Also looking to find anyone here. Even if you didn't see anyone, just that's also a little bit suspicious that there's no one at the bottom of that A ramp yet that he could spot. I think this is a map where we're, the, the, the later stage of this map is one where we can see Halzerk really kind of uh, make his bones for this complexity squad. He's going to get plenty of attention at him in the later stages of this half at A ramp. And with that AWP, if he can be impactful, he can find kills, find some openings, make sure they don't get free access to the top of the ramp. Then you'll see kind of Halzerk with, uh, with the impact that complexity is hoping he was going to have when they bring him into the team. That would be a fantastic way to try and, and just outright win the map if you suddenly get that off on the CT side and you just get a couple of great defensive kills. We saw how much of a nuisance it was for Complexity on their T side. That was one of the initial defenses that got Liquid back into a couple winning rounds early was the double off setup. Nath and OC both started having success and that just chewed up the attack. A little bit of time here, maybe, on the Liquid side. 35 seconds on Vertigo. It's not, it's not the end of the world. That A bomb side is right next to them, so they can still make it, but want to still be careful. Running low on grenades as well, and a little bit of a forward move here. This is something the Liquid trying to do themselves, but now Complexity are doing it, and Grim will at least get the kill. 19 seconds on the board, and JT, that's almost a running shot from Nitro. He does get killed immediately afterwards, Time. following by Holso. You're right, 10 seconds on the clock, and OC, even if he gets the kill somehow, it's not going to help him out. Holso, great defense on the double. And it's another round here for Complexity. They're taking huge steps in the right direction. Yeah, Liquid had the time, as you mentioned. It was, it was starting to tick low when they began that attack. But once once Complexity starts getting aggressive behind that smoke, it kind of falls on the lip uh, at, the, at that railing. So it gives a little bit of an angle underneath it. That's... 
14 to 10, moving into what could be some of the last rounds here of this match. Shocking result today. If you walk away and you check the scores later and you say, oh, complexity. Oh, they took down Navi and Liquid. <laughs> it's not what anyone's expecting. Yeah, that would that would be weird. Nice grenade. Nice beefy nade. Elise brought down to 62. Yekandar takes 20 points of damage. More utility being spent. Nitro is going to lead the way with that tech nine. Utility dump from complexity to slow things down. And there's the peak from Fang. One for one. And Liquid's going to be happy with that. Yeah, they'll take it, no doubt. Stuff, a lot of utility. Floppy on a mission. Timing is everything. We've seen it before. If someone's watching for it, you might just throw away the round. And walking around with a knife out, Elite, <laughs> he's gonna have a heart attack behind that one. And remember, Floppy's had like no real pressure towards his bomb site for quite some time. We mentioned the read last time of everyone from Complexity shifting over to A. Well, Floppy's just like, all right, uh, like I ain't seen anything for rounds. I'm more than happy to push up and take the. Oh my <laughs> lord. That's unreal. We're gonna need to see a replay. Kind up, able to take down Floppy. Still, they can fight for the round. Holsuk, very aggressive. And he's gonna be going down. And now that B bomb side is gonna be lost, and they will definitely get the bomb plant down. Yeah, Kendar's got a smoke to drop to buy time. Grim going for a big flank. This is so awkward. It's a four on two that now has turned into a two on two. JT's managed to sneak his way down. Can't see your Kinder under there. You want to go for the jump pass? That is so scary. And now they lose Grim on the other side. I can't believe it. Liquid somehow finding a way in a two on four to pick up the win. That could maybe bring them back. That should inspire Liquid a little bit. And even if it doesn't, I mean, those are the rounds of your complexity. When you're trying to close this game out, you cannot lose those. You're exactly right. You had everything you wanted. Four on three here. This nasty shot from Halzerk puts him in a four on two. And you still find a way to lose the round. What? <laughs> it's just so quick. Well done. 14 11. So in the grand scheme, there's still some space to work with, but the money on complexity is... They, they could have done something a little creative with the money that they have when you look at Floppy with 5,300, Fang at 3,000, but I, I like this decision. Still three-round lead to play with to kind of uh, that you got in your favor, a little grace grace period for you. Play the economic game. Make sure everyone's feeling flush with cash. Don't invest a whole lot and just move forward into the gun rounds. Or get a win. That... Probably an unforced error on the side of a leash. Probably didn't need to die at that moment. They pretty much had the bomb site, but they're still going to be getting the bomb plant and probably winning the round. That's back to back rounds. He takes a frustrating uh, death to Floppy. Last round, he was pushed up and walking back. A leash rotating with his knife out and gets caught. This time, didn't expect them to just be hiding behind the generator box. But yeah, they had a couple of people at B, and then they had the. the triple stack over at the ramp where nobody ever showed up so i don't know complexity probably don't care so much about losing this particular round if they can do some more damage though that would be real interesting naf holding down mouse one and just getting a triple right off the bat not bad they're going to be winning the round liquid and taking a step in the right direction but i still feel like this this is some of that energy missing it feels like even that two versus four didn't really get them excited you know yeah that's a that's you know I think this this team, though, I don't think we've seen them get kind of hyped up in the same way that we've seen other teams in the way certain way complexity has been as well. They've been more calm and, and clean in the G2 game. Yeah, exactly. They look like they were tactically really uh, a step ahead. So let's just see. 14 to 12, the scoreline. The 27th round. And are hoping for an opening over at the B stairs, which is not getting at the moment. That's a great grenade on top of a legion OC. Said it many times, but that bit of damage evens out the lack of advantage for the M4A1 on the headshot, so that's all you need. A lot of attention at A throughout this half. A lot of silence from Team Liquid. They're going to try and catch the B defenders off guard. <laughs> Two players here. All right. He's up. He's ready. They still got to deal with the quad player. That's JT, who's going to be back there. They've got plenty of Molotovs for it, although he does get the first kill. That's Elise trying to make his play and jump over. And actually, JT's pushed forward. Oh, flashbang. Yekandar survives. Good save from OC, but they've got to get into this bomb site. Time is being bought by the Complexity Defenders. And look at Floppy. He, not even falling back, just taking an even more aggressive angle at the back of the bomb site. 
He can call it in. He should feel now. Wait a minute. They're not really here. So Grim could maybe start to get back. You could see Holsuk and Fang over at the other side of the map. They're well aware that something could be happening. And that's partly because Floppy did take that peek after the whole engagement. So they have a good read right now. 30 seconds. Complexity do not need a knot right now to make this work. They're close. Nade runs deep. Yakinda runs right into it as well. Oh, no. The timing is actually ridiculous. And now it's a four on three. At least the bomb's going down, then you got some options. Nitro needs to find an escape route before that smoke fades. Now we see with an AK-47 and Nitro both in the same position, taking fire through the smoke, and it all comes down to this. Four on three retake for complexity. Oh, and it starts well. Grim with the opening floppy there, a little bit of a return. And Naf now on the ramp. And they're gonna find out where he is real soon. 10 second defuse, that's very awkward though. And Naf in the first one, cave spray, gets him through the smoke, that's absolutely tremendous. And now inside of the smoke, oh, it's like he's gonna get knocked down as well. A one versus three, and that's a shocking victory for Naf. Yeah, that's... Uh... How many times is Naf going to deliver it? What a tough win. If there's a kit, it's over. It is absolutely over. But the money situation for Complexity was so tight, they just could not pick one up. <laughs> Naf in a uh, classic style looking completely unimpressed. <laughs> just another day in the office for Nasty as Naf. Beautiful stuff. 14 13. One round difference between the two squads. And look at what it does to the complexity economy. This is so devastating. If they lose this one complexity, I, it's going to be heartbreaking for them, surely. Here we go. Flashes to try and get out the middle. Liquid. How much momentum could they build behind a ooh, clutch like that? That's a deagle shot and a half onto OC. So, a couple players brought low. These deagles can mop up some of these frags. They're within range, aren't they? OC's oh. down there. He's not going to miss that shot. So this is starting to thin out the defense a bit. This is where if your complexity, one of these players, you're hoping it's not seep it in, but that 4v2 they lost just a few rounds back, that's, that's where we, at least as viewers and as casters and as fans look at it, and you kind of go, ah, that's not good. This Yikes. is where it all began. Yeah, that's true. And then you lose another one. It's a one versus three. It... it it starts to build up. Yeah, the, the, the hiccups. The intangibles that can just ruin your mentality. Two rounds slipping away towards the end of this map that Complexity should have won, hands down. Good kills from Elyse. 14-14. We're all tied up. Naf must have really been doing a lot of work because he was anchoring that B bomb site with Nitro and they were they were getting beat up a lot over there. And now he's top fragging with 23 kills, actually even outdoing Grim on the other side. So what a what a performance from Naf overall. Yeah, well here's that clutch one more time. If you wanted to see it again, one versus three. Fang trying to provide some cover over the top. Floppy goes down. Holzerk had to watch the other angle just in case, and there's just no time to recover and get the defuse. Heartbreaking situation. And actually as we saw the replay there, even with the kit, it would have been 0.45 seconds. Yeah. So... Yeah. Crazy. Real crazy. Here we go. All the, We're going all the way now. Getting our money's worth today. All the rounds. Yeah, I like it. We need... There are so many new teams and new configurations. We just... We need to learn about all of them. So might as well... Uh, might as well see the maximum number of rounds at the moment. Graham, another solid performance. I think he ended against Navi with 22 kills. He's got 22 here against uh, Team Liquid, obviously, and 28 completed rounds of play. Leading the... Oh, excuse me. Naf up to 23 kills. He's the one leading the server. He's done a remarkable job, really. Very, very far back on that B defense, you could tell. They don't want to get caught anywhere near up close, so... A little bit more aggressive on the A ramp, though. Holzerk making a couple of jumps there. Not going to be able to spot anyone, really. They're leaving Floppy alone. That seems risky. It seems risky, but, I mean, look, it's... 
it's it's kind of I guess a bold call to make at this stage in the game, but they haven't had to deal with too many B attacks from Team Liquid. The aggression down a ramp late in the round was perhaps a little bit more risky. Naf is going to find a gap to lurk out middle. He's going to catch nobody rotating over, but he's going to be able to wrap around the site very quickly. It's him against Grim. The two top fraggers for each team. Grim looks away. Floppy's blinded from behind, and it's all just the lone defender. The former Team Liquid player goes down in the smoke, and right at the end, Liquid have one single chance to win the map. They've stolen it away. They've stolen the lead from Complexity. I look at the money as well on the CT sign. It's even more devastating. They might have a lot of trouble, and Liquid should probably hunt this, uh, right? They should do everything they yes. can. Liege with a headshot. All the circuit's going to fall as well. And it's 15 to 14. <laughs> Liquid winning five in a row to get to the match point. This is nightmare status for Complexity. This one is going to the haunt them. The timing on the smash bang against Floppy is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, probably Nap has a massive advantage in that battle no matter what, but... Well, especially because, remember, Grimm's a question about complexity, which is, can you mentally reset for the next series of games that are coming in the second half of the day? Sure, that is a good point. We're learning a lot. Naf taking some need. Shrapnel at the start of the round. I'm down to... Yeah, a little bit. 68 health. Look at this. They did take a couple of steps. I wonder if Naf would have heard that. Not quite sure. They're going to be starting to rotate a little bit further back, though. And the rest of Liquid heading towards the A-Ramp. Nitro taking slow steps. Not really sensing anyone here. They don't have that much utility either on the complexity side. So if you slow play this one, Liquid, I mean, you could end up attacking your bomb site with almost no smokes left to defend it with. Nap coming up to watch the rear again. Nitro gonna look underneath the smoke, trying to find someone at the headshot angle inside the bomb site. Someone peeking out. How do you defend this? Grim with the FAMAS. Oh, this is not an ideal weapon to be caught out in the open at a headshot angle. Nitro's got the first. Two more swing out. Nitro got a second. I don't even know how. And Yekandar's stuck in a battle as well. Oh, they're in a lot of trouble here. Flank is coming in as well. JT, I can't believe he's still alive here. And eventually, it'll be Naf to find the headshot. Only fitting. 25 kills out of here. And now Floppy, one versus three. Liquid, they were so far behind in this, and now they've brought it back. One versus three for Floppy to try and win it. He almost gets the lead.